Let's just say the Diplo has changed. Good, I welcome that. Diplo changing is important for a healthy campaign. Wait, what the hell just happened? Look at that pollen for me. Do you like what's fucking gonna pollen? Wait, what? What's this nation ruining? Why is this auto This looks like nation ruining. Oh, the misery. Everybody wants to be. Oh, the nation ruining. This is the end of pollen? She has 4 million pop slips. You definitely changed with Russia, bro. I can say that. Russia, he was pissed. Of course he's pissed that you stopped doing exactly what he wanted. Yeah. What's the deal? Is LBNs and PLC fighting Russia? Is that what's going on? Yep. Ah, oh, okay. Huh. Well, you, you guys could probably beat, <laughs> beat him, honestly. Yes! Hell yeah! Hey, come on, baby! Come on! Yes! Come on! Ah! Yes! <laughs> Oh, what's gonna happen, bro? Which side is Albia gonna pick? The crisis is about to blow! I'm sure this is gonna be a glitch crisis. But we need mob. We should mob. Uh, oh, I think they're decking or something. Well, I might as well mob. Get the juices up. Yeah, let's let's get this war going. Albion is gonna spit out, he said, though. Well, Albion's is oh. justifying, um... Oh, he's doing a transfer on Burgundy. Oh shit, is he doing a deal with Burgundy? That's sus. Maybe. Yeah. Uh, we should deck on him anyways, who cares? It's sus if he, if he turns on me. It's alright if he does anyway, we're gonna roll these guys. Yeah, get everything in France and just- who's justifying? We need to figure this shit out. Why do I- I have a full stack in fucking the DM that I forgot about. From the last war. Yeah, alright, I'm, I'm gonna just find Aragon. I'm just fine on Aragon. I've been sitting there for like an hour. Could've told me. <laughs> I know, I forgot. What's the plan? Because I'm kind of cut off now. I'm just gonna go over to Joe Baden. Go to Joe Baden okay. and then I'll meet you in Alstas. They sold the Rhineland to, <laughs> to Albion. Is he actually going to join their side, though? I don't. I don't think he's. No, no, no. He's not going to join their side. He's um. He's just not. He's going to stay out of the war. Ideally, he would join their side so I can end up against the Albions without feeling bad about betraying him. I shouldn't have said that. I should not have said that. Nah. Hopefully, he betrays betray me. Him, Let's Leon. not talk about these things when he could still. I'm only joking though. It's fine. Yeah, I know. I know. Yeah. We're all like. I'm sure this is going to be a glitch crisis. Hello and welcome back to the Bavaria series and divergences of Darkness multiplayer in Victoria 2. In the last episode there was a 1v1 showdown between the dual monarchy and Scandinavia. The dual monarchy came out ahead, won a great victory, reclaiming all of England and also annexing the lowlands of Scotland. The DM has made a full comeback and is now the strongest great power in the world again, and also a very close ally of me on Bavaria. I also released a spin-off from the series showing some of the insane things happening between American and Asian countries. You should definitely check that one out as well if you haven't already. In the previous episode, Poland-Lithuania also continued his charm offensive towards our alliance, trying to help Savoy after in the episode before that he helped me. As you can see, his offensive was a complete success, and he's managed to convince the Elbian Confederation to ally him and turn against Russia. But you can't do this to me. Poland is transferring a few regions to the Elbians with high amounts of Elbian pops, in the hope that reclaiming cores off of Russia and getting Ruthenian accepted will make up for it. We thought Poland was out, but he has a chance to make a comeback. This is a very bold move by the Albians who has been fighting Burgundy in Scandinavia on his western border the whole campaign. Now that he's making an enemy out of Russia, which could potentially be a massive threat, he's trying to make peace on his western border by making deals with Burgundy. The intention is for Burgundy to transfer the Rhineland to the Albians in exchange for the Albians staying out of Western European wars, which might allow Burgundy to have a better chance against the dual monarchy. The transfer war hasn't been finalised yet, it was interrupted by the end of the session. 
as Bavaria are very concerned by these moves that the Albions is making, but as you can see from these deals, neither of them actually involve him going against me or betraying me. So this uneasy relationship that we have is still going forward, and we're still technically allied and friendly. If anything, now that he's going against Russia and Russia is allied to the Ottomans, I can still definitely be on his side. In the last episode, I told him that I wanted to go after the Ottomans. I'm currently justifying for Hungary's last region, and I've got another country justifying for an infamy transfer to give me Croatia. So I'm heading in that direction on a potential collision course against the Ottomans. The diplomacy in Europe right now is very tense with a lot of changes happening. A war in Western Europe and a war in Eastern Europe are potentially about to be unleashed. So stay tuned, and make sure that you like the video and subscribe. Ottomans are joining 100%. On which side? On Russia's side. I mean, I literally saved him for a session. Oh well. By the way, Spud, what's the deal with Burgundy and you and DM? There's no deal. You're going in though, right? Still? Um, I will have to. I don't think that they can win that. From what I saw, they have way left brigade. Yeah, probably not, but that's a, that's a bigger priority for me than the Ottoman and Russian war. What do we do if Burgundy and Scandi join my Russia war? It depends if we declare or they declare. I, we don't want to declare, I think. You I think wanna... we'll help you in spending the Scandi in that. I don't need to take all my cores back, because obviously you guys are saving me. It means my cores are low priority. No, but we should take back at least a few, so like we can prevent Russia from just getting Ruthenians. Once he gets Ruthenians, so strong. Well, the, the problem is Russia doesn't need any land to get Ruthenians, right? But I do. The thing is, Burgundy might join. You have our support. I would obviously join in that case. Yeah. Didn't I have someone doing infamy for me in Croatia? Who was that again? Burgundy just demobbed. Everyone's demobbed. Yeah. I've got Lotharingia doing a transfer. Don't demob. No, what the no. fuck? Don't demob. I'm gonna, I'm gonna demob. I don't need to mob right now. Why? Why we? Why do we need? Uh, to because mob? Aragon's mobbed. All right, here's the situation. Burgundy's 100% joining against us, even if Russia decks. Uh, yeah, Burgundy's mode. We should set this war as soon as you get like 10 mil pick then. Uh, yeah. after you do the neighbor, after you do the deal, join the war. No, we're not doing the deal actually. Oh my god, is this going to be an absolutely gigantic fucking war with everyone? I mean, the Ottomans is mobbing, Russia is mobbing. Well, I yeah. guess it is. Uh, I have to join this war because otherwise the deck separately on me. The Ottomans has no money apparently. Yeah, we're doing it. Scandinavian? This is, that looks kind of good for us. Neighbor, we gotta join this. Fuck it, we'll yeah, do it live! No. We'll do it live! I need to kill Hungary and do my, uh, well, Croatia doesn't matter, but I need to kill Hungary quick here. Very important for my map. A giant snake. <laughs> They're all requesting money. I'm turning fucking France off. What the hell is that? <laughs> so, DM, I checked the decisions, and if you get Provence, you can immediately form Italy with me as the head, so. Even if Aragon has yep. that land? Yes, as long as you have me speared, uh, you can just form Middle You will get, um, damn, you'll take Savoy from me, so we'll have to turn God it damn. back. But... That's a little cheap, don't you think? <laughs> well, I it mean, is, it doesn't give it him is, but it's like a land, thing. it just makes him Italy and gives him cores. Yeah. yeah, it just gives me cores. So, yeah, I'm just out here massively expanding my border with the Ottomans. <laughs> I mean, this isn't. We're not really at yeah. border warfare just yet. I know. Uh, all right, John Cena. I got decked on. I got decked on. Oh, wow. Should I decked on? Oh, oh joint yeah. against Scandinavia. Okay, really? There we go. Is the Ottomans going to be in this already? Because that's. Did you not get the call to arms, DM? You're going to get. No, DM's getting cracked out. Oh my god. Whatever. Wait, who missed the join? Who didn't join? What happened? DM. DM was an ally to. Was an ally. Well, no, like no it was Scandi decking. They got truce block. Yeah. That doesn't work on defensive call to arms, though. But oh, he was an ally to me. Hey, right, Poland, pull back. Poland, pull yeah, back. Poland yeah, Poland, pull yeah, back. Yeah, Wait yeah. for Albion troops in the alien. DM can join in two years, so. <laughs> two years, bro. Oh my god. I think that's not no, I mean, I mean, you can get a separate Cassus Belly on whoever you're not truced with. Oh, yeah. We yeah, can deck, we can deck on Burgundy. Burgundy. Oh, yeah. Burgundy. Deck, on, deck on Burgundy. Listen, mate, you have our consent to do that, Ben. Yeah, I'm doing it. <laughs> All right, cool. We consent. We consent. Okay, don't worry. Yeah, we consent. I can't take Hungary right now, man. Ben, did you start justifying? Yep. Okay. Now oh, Aragon's in. I'll be back. Well, I'm getting full siege. 
I'm getting half sieged. Don't worry. I'm getting full sieged. What's the Ottomans' mill tech? Uh, the Ottomans has fucking shit mill tech. Well, I also had terrible mill tech. What? <laughs> Pionia? Alliance has 11. Was Actually, I think we can get Amazonian. Uh, if Pionia go going to Jetting? Hmm. Bjornia is in fact in the war. I'm sure that'll be a good move for Bjornia. Is he- wait, he's, he's after England, the prick. What the fuck? Yeah, he was doing <laughs> the England thing. Cheeky bastard. Hey Ben, can you remove, uh, Württemberg from your spear, please? Yeah. Alright, cheers. How are we going to go about this? I mean, we can do some damage to Aragonese armies or Ottoman armies down south. And did you announce to join? You should announce to join now, we're still just fine. January 2nd, we deck and we destroy Burgundy. Russia's attacking, Russia's attacking, Russia's attacking. I'll send a stack over to you guys. You need to fight Russia or Burgundy, you need to pick one. Well, he's attacking us. I'm sending some for you. You can destroy the Russian army again if you're quick enough. Do we want uh, to Do we want to? No. Yeah, you, yes. Yeah, follow up to Brest Latos, that's plain. You can hit planes, it's always safe. No, 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 breeze talk. One, no, breeze talk. Yeah, whatever. Hey, Albions, can you send troops to me down in this front if they're going to attack me? I might have to actually abandon it, to be honest. Wait, oh, I didn't realize there was a front going on. I could always just abandon this crap. But I'm not going to send that many because I don't know what Burgundy's doing. They haven't pushed me yet, but... Yeah, he's also in my other half of my land, which is awkward. We need DM in this as soon as possible. That's what we need. Yeah, January 2nd, and uh, hopefully they're not forced peace in me, because I am going to be critical in this case. Uh, because... LBA, it's from, uh, from uh, Breadstock, 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 yeah, Breadstock, Breadstock, Plot. We enforce good. that, you have stuff in Plot. That's a battle we can win. They've got no commander. I'm not going to send everything. You just... Yeah, don't send, don't send everything, you keep some stuff, but... Retreat, seal these or whatever. Why retreat that? Fucking fight that. Yeah, fight that, reinforce. The southern battle, I mean. Yeah, 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 mm -hmm. no, 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 it's, it's going to get wiped. There's Burgundian troops coming to my front. I'm fucked. Albion, send your armies in the that are just sitting there in the west. The if game. you want to win the east, you need to send more than one stack because they're committing everything. Like Burgundy's not going to seed you now. 28 days till uh, it's done. So uh... oh, they're attacking outside. They're attacking outside. Aragon is moving troops back to Catalonia. Why am I casualty so bad? <sighs> oh, Warsaw, they're attacking Warsaw. Wait, we want Alan's side. Okay, I'm back. Now move from Torun down there to Warsaw. Come on, Albions. Yeah, DM, start full occupying Burgundy. Send everything. Alright, now that now that DM's in, I'm gonna pull all my troops out of Burgundy here. We're gonna have to reinforce Warsaw. Yeah, we're we're okay there. Wars merged, by the way. Okay. It makes sense. Yeah, uh, you're yeah. going to get there first, you're good. As long as you just keep something in Chaumont. I mean, they'll attack that, but you're holding that far. Stay in Chaumont, Lizard. Yeah, stay in Chaumont. I'm coming. I'm coming to you. I'm coming to you. Just defend it. Spud, you still have uh, troops in uh, southern France. Oh. Very useful. Um, yeah. We're shredding them. And the Aragon's not in the battle. Can you put more troops in it before they like try and attack Shomo? Yeah. Aragon's not at war with DM. No, wars are merged. Yeah, encirclement in Geneva. This is really good. Yeah, Best yeah, yeah. I've got an encirclement here. Oh, oh, Aragon just joined. 
Burgundy's pulling back even more. Just occupy Burgundy. They're moving into neutral, what? And they are allowed to do that. As long as they don't attack from there. I love getting full occupied for like the fifth time this campaign because of the skill issue. Uh, have you got your cast of Spelly on Illyria? It's still forming. Okay, that's good. Because I'm a little bit busy, but I still want you to use the CP. Yeah, that's fine. Even if I can't get to Illyria right now, but I will get, the, get them soon. And also, uh, Beyond is in this war, trying to get England. <laughs> yeah, I just want you to know. <laughs> Based. I would invite you to join the war, but I don't think we can give you any like war score against him. Even then, it's it's not worth it in my end. Like I got a bigger a bigger threat. Yeah, he's got an actual existential threat, which is Amazon. What are you, a small business? I don't remember the last time I actually got stuck in the lobby. I think it's. Like I don't remember the last time I asked. I'm gonna ask you something. How is being full siege down doing for you? Ah, oh, it's, it's feeling great. You should full siege down the people who asked. Can you oh, move into? To stop shadow funding. No, Anisi, right now, yeah. Okay, sorry, sorry. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see. No, Anisi, sorry. in my country, in my yeah. country. I know, yeah, buddy. I, I know. You. I was just moving the whole. They're stack. pulling out. Pull it. He's afraid. Oh no, He's he afraid. got it. They're pulling it. out. I would follow up onto Selites. Okay, fine. Let's do it. Into somewhere. Maybe hit Bialystok. The Ottomans in Russia are super weak and super bad on Miltek, probably. Yeah, they are. Yeah, where did Burgundy's army go? Switzerland? Uh, Spain, can you move down too in southern France? We're gonna try to hit them in Provence. Yeah, I'm moving. Would you really want to hit them there? That's where Burgundy's whole army went. Down that way. Mm, today I will play Savoy, a nice comfy Italian nation. You know, I'll fight a couple- oh holy shit, we're really death stacking that. There is one stack of Aragonese in Marcella that you can't see, but you can still hit them. Oh shit, okay. No yeah, mind. I know, it's just, but Marcella's also a plains in. Oh look, there's Burgundians. Alright, follow and up. Nice. Follow Don't follow, follow up. Just find yeah. an Avignon, if all up to- No, follow up to Dignan, no, 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 follow and up. Then, follow up. Follow up. Follow up. Follow Okay, I'm going to Dignan, so someone had better- Just be careful, because all the Burgundians have showed up. Send some stuff, just- one of this is risky. Teams. Just saying, it's risky. It's fine, but we just crushed them. DM, bring more troops down. Yeah, yeah. My troops should not be sieging. I'm coming. Get more I pull them go down. Right, 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 right. Right. Can half the people in this alliance go and buy a better mic quickly? Fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Sorry. Uh, the Sorry, we're not all famous YouTubers with that YouTube money. All right, the stack of more stuff. Oh my God, Bjorni Atlanta so troops in Latvia. YouTube isn't the only way of making money. I'm just saying. Do you <laughs> think that the people who play this game are able to do any of the others? Why wouldn't they? We need to save edit out those provincial troops. It's irritating. What about mm -hmm. the Bjornian troops in Russia? Yeah, what about them? I was just wondering the same thing. As soon as the battle ends, I'm following up to the next province, uh, Frisch, or however you pronounce that. Got it, Frisch, you mean it? I'm not sure about the Occitan pronunciation of that, I'm afraid. I don't know. Nah, uh, a resident French expert is useless, so I guess. The boys are here. The boys. The boys are back. <laughs> okay, follow up. This is the most I'm functional yet. Follow up and there. Too long? Too long? Yeah. Frisch. Yeah, yeah, follow up to Frisch, Frisch. Oh. And then we can go around to Turin. Yeah, shouldn't you continue. still be moving some stuff up in Burgundy? Oh, they're pulling out of. Austria. They're pulling out of every front. Where I would, start, I would start sieging them in Russia. Go into that Russian forest, yeah. No, oh, they, they're trying to force peace me. Oh shit, we need a- we need a Savoyard province ASAP. I'm they're trying to pop it up though. 
They're puppeting him. Go to turn right now. Go to turn yep. right now. Yep. Turin? Wait, yeah, follow they're, up to they're pacing side. him out. Right. Can we? If they're pacing him out? Just go. Figure just go. Out Figure it out later. It might cause some fuckery where we become exiled. But uh, I am going in. So go to Nitsa as well as Turin. Well, they can't. They, their Diplo might be inspired. Oh, they did it. Oh, okay. wait, they forced beast? Don't right. follow up. Can we still can we still fight? We can war? force them to force Savoy into the war on your yeah, side, on their yeah. side, so we can follow up. All right, uh, do that then. Orders. This Savoyan army is under you. That, that means, like, that means we can ju just take free puppet on them. Just take free puppet. No way. I think the boy would have a, to delete his troops. Isn't it a DMZ? Because it peaced out early. If you peace out early, it's a DMZ. Wait, uh, no, Burgundy surrendered. Burgundy surrendered. You can just free me as puppet and take Provence, and then I find Italy anyways. Who cares? Yeah. Can I get Rhineland for? Oh, actually, no, it's too expensive. Never. No, we gotta, we gotta worry. That is Berg to Berg DM. To They're DM. not surrendering, apparently. Oh. It's the same war, though. He got murdered. It is. It's Berg. Idiot. 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 They said we surrender, so the entire side surrendered. So, how are we gonna do this then? Free puppet and then take Provence and then. Uh, yeah. How much does free puppet cost? Release there puppet Savoy is ten war score. That's yeah, not ten war yeah. score. That's right, ten. That's, right, 10. that's okay. perfectly fine. Poland uh, is taking at least like three quarters. Or something. Uh, acquiring Provence is uh, twenty-three like, war score. The war's over. We just gotta figure out how to add. You can do the unseized decision on you. But I'm gonna need to like move to Moscow and then. Can I get the unseized decision on me? Cheers. <laughs> Yeah, go go siege down some stuff so you can add. Yo, can you stop attacking me? We surrendered. Get get Dempsey in here. I need to be unseaged. What is this? Why am I still sieged? I got unseaged. <laughs> I got unseaged. I think it was, there's a cooldown on the decision. Release Savoy and then if Ben gets Provence, I find Italy. I'd like to point yeah. out this was not what I wanted to happen. Um well, yeah, I'm sure it wasn't. Uh, I'm sure you wanted to win. Like, oh, you're Losing the war, rarely what we want to happen. Is it the least puppet 85 war score, day? No, it's not. It's 10. No. What? Okay. Yeah, it's 10. <laughs> Provence is uh, 23, so it's a bit expensive. Yeah, take that. Yeah, Italy. It's 4 million of you except Oh, eight. I'm getting okay. unseized based! It happened. Nice decision. Thanks. I also have Caribbean, so I think I'm... Got yeah, but it's only like five Caribbean. or one war score, it's nothing. Hey, Lotharingia, can you uh, deck on uh, Croatia? Uh, yeah. Not yet, actually. Okay. Yeah, I added Provence. I'll add yeah. Release Puppet for ten. That's All right. Fine. We wait, need to go watch out, tell... Savoy, watch out, Savoy, you got called in, don't move, don't move. Wait, 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 so, 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 so. The Polish cores are going to be uh, Treaty of Heidek, yeah. what do I need? Kiev, Minsk, and Poltas. Kiev? I don't think I've ever gotten puppeted and then win a war, but, you know, I'm happy for it. Technically lost. Twice. Nah, I lost <laughs> twice. No! I lost twice. <laughs> oh, no! Oh, I have eight militancy. That's, uh, on time. Alright, you can move in now, Spetty. He was complaining that the West is making him get Moscow sieged. <laughs> Oh, the West. He's already calling us the West. <laughs> we are the West. He called me NATO, bro. Aragon's just at the edge of getting sanctioned. Oof. And I love the Bjorni and Trish. And he did it all for nothing. Kiev is 15. I'm gonna add Ravna first. He says Kiev, but he doesn't say Ravna. Keep it consistent. Oh, sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry. Look how fucking long Bavaria is. Oh my god, that is so beautiful. It is beautiful. <laughs> nice. No. Can I get money, guys? No. You doing the other side? Yeah. <laughs> Even though I saved you, Nars, I saved you, and you betrayed me. I can't believe it. And then lost. I mean, <laughs> I just joined this war because I knew I wasn't gonna lose anything. That's probably. He's separate piece to Russia. Oh, did I separate? Not over. Oh, oh, oh I, I separate. Send a white piece to send a send a white piece to Burgundy. That's gonna yeah. mess up all the truces. But... You know, I'm gonna kill yourself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Albanians needs to peace out with Burgundy. Just I swear, bro. I thought Russia was the yeah. war leader. It was Scandi. Yeah, it was... my bad. 
No, it wasn't. It was Burgundy. <laughs> All right, Ben. Ben, can you take the four in Italy decision? Oh, construct to Italy. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I need. Italy. I need to spear you. Yeah, just spear me. Are we on family terms? Anyway, good job in the war. Another big W for our alliance. We just can't stop. I seem to have a lot of luck in DOD lately. Bohemia might do some negotiations with Burgundy. They were already doing deals, although it fell through because of that war. But just remember, Ben, me and you forever. Yeah. Zelbian's here. No. No. That's why I just talked about that. He's talking to them. Yeah, we should kill him and you can form Germany. Wow. You know, if, if he betrays us. I don't want to be the first to betray him. What if we betrayed him? Uh, it says I'm in your spear, DM. I don't want to do it anytime yet. Can you click the button? There you go, buddy. It's one fine looking Italy? Why doesn't mine look like that? Ah! <laughs> I took I took angle friends yeah. away from Can someone can someone do a three-way transfer on that? Why would you give that you don't even have cores on it, Blizzard? Oh cut like uh, instantly. Look at the pop. Yeah, it's half Italian. Just like Lizard. No, he's 100% Italian. These were technically two different wars although they were merged under the rules and the war score had to be shared between them. So let's count up the totals for both sides. There's a very big casualty difference in this war. It was a very convincing victory. And you can see that the dual monarchy versus Burgundy and Aragon aspect of it had a 2 to 1 casualty ratio in our favour which means that was the best front for us. So it's fair to say that the enemy alliance really messed up this war and they had a clear chance of winning it because first of all the brigade counts were even when we look back on that. And secondly, they had a slight advantage in keeping the dual monarchy out for a few months. This is the truth from the dual monarchy in Scandinavia 1v1 in the previous episode, in case you don't know. They intended to completely truce block the dual monarchy out, but they made the mistake of not taking into account the separate decking rules, which allowed the dual monarchy to come in and attack Burgundy. As you can probably see, the main problem with the enemy alliance is that they are quite separated and cut off from each other. This means that in order to win the war, they really need to work hard on minimising that problem and uniting their armies to the best extent possible. The main country that was a problem here for the enemy alliance was Burgundy. They were the country that ran into the most problems and failed to link up with anyone, and they got crushed in their southern lands and desperately tried to retreat forces across Switzerland taking loads of attrition. Scandinavia went to link up with Russia instead of what they normally do linking up with Burgundy, because their whole plan was attacking Poland. So when it turned out that they had made a mistake in not considering the separate decking rules, and they knew for a fact that the dual monarchy was joining the war in a few months, they had to change their entire strategy. Burgundy would have to make a big move somewhere to get their army linked up. They had absolutely no chance of holding their border or holding their country at all, but they have one of the biggest and most important armies in their alliance which they could put to use somewhere and try and win them the war overall or help on another front. Burgundy moved some troops to occupy Savoy, some troops to occupy me in Baden, but kept most of his army defending his own country down in the south. He was able to move his entire army out of Burgundy, he could have moved through Switzerland, that's legal, and then into Savoy, Aragon, over to the Eastern Front, anywhere. And I mean early in the war, a long time before he ended up trying to make his desperate retreat across Switzerland. Later in the war they were trying to hold Provence, which was just a disaster, we pushed them right in and then they surrendered. But where did it all go so wrong for them on the Eastern Front? Well, Russia and Cole were on the offensive and they got shredded in some of these battles against the number one industrial powerhouse, the Elbians. Russia had the support of Scandinavia and the Ottomans. Well, the support of those two countries really didn't help Russia very much. First of all, those countries are geographically quite far away from Russia, so it takes a long time for them to trickle in their mobilization, whereas the Elbians is right there. The way you counteract that is preparing for the war in advance, fully mobilised, get your troops in position. The enemy alliance rushed into this because they wanted to get that truce block against the dual monarchy. And that backfired anyway, so you can see how this war went very wrong for them. 
The Ottomans is absolutely terrible, they've only got 5 mil tech, and they're unable to reinforce with their current economy. And his actual contribution to the war didn't even match his brigade count potential, because he's off doing a war against the Safavid Empire AI and dealing with a massive rebellion in Persia. As for Scandinavia, who has really good mil tech, he's still reeling from the loss to the dual monarchy. He's just lost his most populated state and he's taken a lot of casualties in that 1v1. For this war, which started in 1856, he can count on about 81 brigades. Back in 1851, just before a showdown against the dual monarchy, he could muster a total of 115 brigades. That's a huge loss over five years. I think that's a good analysis of the war and why they lost it. For me, on Bavaria, I didn't contribute much to that war at all, I just sat defending a front line. My troops were tied up defending that, but it was also tying up a lot of Aragonese, Burgundian and Ottoman troops defending that. I was fully anticipating an enemy offensive against me, and I was also worried that they would try and exploit this massive gap in our eastern front, flank me or flank the Albions. But alas, it never happened. Sparing my soldier pops to be put to better use in a future war. But I had one stack on the eastern front and one stack on the western front, making me, Bavaria, the only country in our alliance who contributed to both fronts. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and stay tuned for the next episode. Give the video a like and subscribe for more. If the only content you've watched on my channel is this series so far, then I have a really big back catalogue of different series that you'll also enjoy. Some of them are there on the front page and the rest can be found by going to the playlists. This time last year we had the Aragon Cinematic Universe. That was a lot of fun and I can't believe it's already a year ago. This time two years ago we had the Hungary Cinematic Universe. Again, really enjoyed making that one. There's two playlists for this one of course. The first one is how I uploaded it, which is non-linear, the Christopher Nolan cut if you will. And then there's a playlist where it's chronological. Two years ago I also uploaded the first World War II mod video, Hearts of Victoria. And about a week ago now I released the third video in that playlist, which was edited beautifully by a guest editor. It's an interesting video. But this time three years ago, it was the American bloodbath. The point is I like to think that my content holds up and stands the test of time over years, it's not just stuff that I release and forget about, so go and check it all out if you haven't. And of course none of it would be possible without all the other players that I play with, the people that make the mods and the people that host the game, so thank you to all of them. Join the Discord, consider supporting me on Patreon, follow me on Twitch and have a nice day, goodbye.